Hey guys, this is Ian, and welcome to the first episode in what I hope will become a new series, a new regular series for the channel. This is Imp Approved. This is where I'm basically going to be painting whilst geeking out about whatever TV series or film or game or whatever is particularly capturing my imagination at that particular point in time. And in this first episode, I'm going to be talking about a series that I've only just recently got into, and I've only seen the first series so far, and that is Attack on Titan. So I should probably say at the beginning here, almost certainly spoilers for Attack on Titan, because I, I am not planning on holding back here at all. So if you haven't seen the series yet, I recommend stopping this video, going watching at least the first series, and then coming back and watching this video. So I should also probably point out at this stage that I'm not what you'd call a true anime fan. I enjoy anime. I would think calling myself an anime fan would probably be insulting to true anime fans. But I've seen the majority of the Studio Ghibli films. I've watched uh, Ghost in the Shell and a couple of other little series here and there. But I'm not, I'm not like an avid anime fan. I really, really enjoyed this series. It has been such a thrilling ride from beginning to end. I've only seen, like I say, the very first series. So I started this painting uh, when I was around about episode 9 or 10 into the series, I guess. Just about the beginning for, of the struggle for Trost, and I really wanted to capture that part of the series, just because I was really enjoying it. Obviously, it's where you start finding out about Eren's powers and some of the backstory to uh, Mikasa and some of the other characters as well. As well as that, I really like the design of Trost. It's got such a, uh, I'd say, European, maybe 15th, 16th century feel to it. And alongside the colour tones and things that they use in the series when they're in Trost, it has a very muted, very sepia tone. It feels very warm, but also very enclosed. And there was something about that whole sequence where they're in Trost and they're fighting to try and regain control of it that I, I just, I loved. I should also say I was using references and things from Google for the uh, uniforms and for Trost itself. So things aren't going to be completely, totally accurate because I was struggling a little bit to find uh, certainly references for the buildings and such. So I, I kind of, I wanted to get the idea of them across, the feeling of the buildings, rather than get them absolutely perfectly resembling the ones in the series. I was also using references for their uniforms. Unfortunately, the one that I was looking at that had the most detail on it at the beginning had the Recon Corps uh, logo badge on it. So you'll notice that Mikasa, the foreground there, uh, she starts off having the Recon Corps uh, logo on and I very quickly realized that that was in fact the wrong one, in f especially for this part of the story. So I switched that back to the uh, the Training Court logo uh, fairly quickly and you'll, you'll see that happen within the painting. One of my favorite things in any story arc or anything like that is having a world with a lot of lore to it. Um, I really like being thrown into a world where the universe that the story is set in feels so much larger than the characters and the story that is being told. That's why I like things like uh, Lord of the Rings and Star Wars and uh, Harry Potter, all those things where just the writer has put so much thought into the world that the uh, story is taking place in, the world itself almost becomes the main character. And that's something which is really, really evident in uh, in Attack on Titan, especially as you start progressing through the series and you start learning more about the uh, the Titan forms, the uh, the humans who are potentially controlling some of the larger ones, such as the armored one and the colossal one, and then later in the series, the female Titan, who um, I'm I'm just gonna say it like I called that I called that I knew who that was the instant that I first saw her. And uh, yeah, that, that didn't come as a surprise to me, the unveil, but I have questions. I do have serious questions, and I hope that they get addressed in the second series. I don't know, please don't spoil uh, the second series for me in the comments. But my question is this, how did 
Levi squad know that the female titan would be chasing them? And how could they have possibly have known that it was a titan being controlled by a person? Because Armin, he was the first one to realise that, and he was way off on the other side of the formation to where Aaron and uh, Levi's squad were. The only logical conclusion that I can draw was that the entire scout party was a bluff in order to draw out the female titan that they already knew existed. Because, I mean, the friend who introduced me to Attack on Titan explained it that they went out to capture one of the larger titans, like the armored titan or the colossal titan. That's what they were set up for, and they didn't know about the female titan. And they, but they had figured out that the two titans that they had captured previously and were killed by somebody with 3D maneuver gear was possibly linked to the larger titans, and that's what they were going out to do. But that kind of doesn't sit well with me because they weren't surprised there, there was no surprise uh, from Levi or the commanders who knew the plan that this female titan was there and it had somebody in them at, inside and it was one of them and they knew that they had 3d maneuver gear and they, they knew they knew ahead of time what was happening and it wasn't revealed and it, I want to know, I want to know how they knew and how how that all came about. Because I went back, I watched that episode, man, and at no point should they have known that they were being chased by the female titan or that a human was controlling it. That's, that's all I have to say on that matter. <laughs> I'm also probably entirely wrong and you're all going to correct me in the comments. And if so, please do, because I, I, I want to know. I want to know why that section doesn't make sense to me and I'm sure it's because Levi has had Levi knew Levi knew so I think that's pretty much it we're closing up the uh, the picture now everything's coming drawing to a close just filling in some of the last final details such as the windows and uh, bringing out some of the highlights and such Overall, I'm really happy with the way that this painting came out. I used a different technique that I would normally use to doing this kind of thing in that uh, I didn't detail it out fully at first. I used my uh, backgrounding method, my landscape method. So I'm overall, I'm very happy with the way it came out. The composition is a little bit off, I feel. The bottom left-hand corner could do with a little something there, either something street level, or if the, the second character who's using his 3D maneuver gear was made larger and brought down a bit, I think that would make me feel a bit more comfortable with it. But overall, I'm really happy with the piece, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching it come together as I ramble about Attack on Titan. If you have, please make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. And as always, guys, take care, and I'll see you next time.